Well, we want to shift gears a bit and talk matters entrepreneurship. And uh, this hour, I'm joined by two ladies, and that is Shivan Siroya, who is the founder of Tala, and Ruth Muturi. Many thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. And uh, right now, technology is emerging as one of the big conversations for the continent. Talk us through what Tala is all about, uh, Shiroya. Sure. Uh, so Tala is a customer-focused technology company. Um, at our core, we're a data and mobile technology company that is trying to expand financial access, choice, and control for the underserved globally. Mm -hmm. And so what we've developed is an Android platform that allows customers to download our app, apply for a loan, and receive instant access to credit. Mm -hmm. And for most of our customers, we can do that in under five minutes. All right. And uh, Ruth, uh, why this niche market? Well, uh, especially for Kenya, you find adoption to technology has been one of the best phenomenons we have. So we have mobile technology, which a lot of people are using. And because we are on Android, the best way we can be able to disperse money into the customer's account is using mobile money. So we found East Africa as a very good market to tap into, and it's actually been good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Talking about it's been good, uh, walk us through the journey and uh, the impact this might have in terms of financial sector deepening. Sure. Uh, so the journey, uh, it's been a little over five years. You know, as Rose said, our first market was Kenya, but we now actually work across four other markets. Uh, it actually spans three continents now. Mm -hmm. So we work across East Africa, we work in the Philippines, and also in Mexico. We've now just crossed a million customers on the platform um, as of Monday, actually. So it's a really exciting milestone for us as a company. Mm -hmm. But what's really exciting is the impact that we're having. And what we find is actually that over 70% of our customers are actually using the credit product for working capital. And so these are small business owners that are running their own businesses and not only using the credit to you know, expand that business, but really using it to improve their quality of life and the quality of life for their families. Uh -huh. And Rose, uh, this particular technology is sort of uh, disruptive in the sense that uh, we already have existing platforms like the Mshuaris of the world. And what is the, should I say, the strategic advantage this might have Bearing in mind, uh, we have SMEs who are very risky, and that's why many banks have shied away from them over years. In fact, I like the word Shivani uses. She calls it the secret sauce. So what we pride ourselves in is the technology that we have, and we've invested a lot also in our data science, meaning the way we can be able to pick information from our users and use our scoring capabilities to predict how they will be able to pay, are they going to be good customers in terms of repayability, will they be able to afford in terms of how much you can be able to lend to them. It's all about data science. It's mm -hmm. all about how the you predict behavior. And, uh, exactly. So we use a lot analytics. of machine learning, we use a lot of analytics. So those are things we've really invested in. We have a very high quality engineering team, both here and also at our headquarters in the US. So we make sure that we are always using cutting edge solutions to have our systems up and running 24 hours mm -hmm. to be able to crunch large uh, bytes of data. All right. Yes. And uh, this also presents a challenge when it comes to penetrating the market. Um, we are seeing a, a number of products already in the market. How do you uh, stay afloat and uh, ward off competition? I think it goes back to really what our mission is as a company. And so we are not just a technology company, but we're a mission-driven technology company. And so in that sense, we are, we are passionate folks that, yes, we have an expertise in data science and mobile technology, but we're driving towards really serving our customers. And from that perspective, our brand is all about radical trust. And it's about how can we actually develop a relationship with our customers where they trust us and we trust them. And so because of that, we won't actually just stop at one market or stop with one product. We're constantly fueled by that mission to keep innovating. And uh, following up on this, uh, it's one of the questions I always ask any of my guests here, the numbers. 
talk us through the numbers from a sense of uh, the volumes we've been able to disperse and uh, what are your future forecasts as you move into, say, by 2020? Sure. <laughs> so as I mentioned in the beginning, we now work across four different countries. We're on three continents. Um, we've surpassed over 4.5 million loans dispersed to our customers. We just mm -hmm. crossed the over 1 million mark in terms of customers on the platform itself. And in terms of dollar amounts, we've actually dispersed over 250 million US dollars in origination. All right. Interesting. So, yeah. Quite uh, substantial numbers. Yeah. And Rose, mm -hmm. what would be your parting shot right now as we bring the conversation to a close? And what is the outlook really for Kenya and even East Africa at large? What I can say is, considering that 70% of our users are micro-entrepreneurs, there is a lot of room in terms of the kind of activities they can do. What used to be a setback was the access to credit, which we've been able to show that you don't necessarily have to use conventional means to weigh whether they can be able to access credit or not. You need to be very disruptive, you need to be very innovative in measuring for this underserved population, how can we be able to predict whether they can be able to repay facilities or not. The other thing would be there's a lot of room for the 18 to 35 year olds uh, that we see on our platform because that actually is 85 percent of our borrowers. So as opposed to people saying no, there's actually no way people can access, mm -hmm. they can actually tap into the technology that we have. All right. it's, it's actually the future. Yes. Interesting. And you didn't tell me the interest rates you charge on the loan. Sure. Uh, we charge 15 percent. Uh -huh. And over time, obviously, the product continues to get better for our repeat customers. All right. Many thanks, uh, ladies, for this interesting conversation. And uh, we'll definitely be monitoring to see any progress you'll be making moving forward. Thank, Thank you. you.